Hey, I'm Hunt, and this is Hunt on LSU, your channel for LSU Fighting Tiger football talk. Enjoy the video. We want you to leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe right below the video. Enjoy. We already know a few things about LSU's schedule. First of all, the non-conference games are already set up. We know when those will be. And so it's a monster of a non-conference schedule. But LSU's already announced those, and that's not what we're finding out tonight. So you already know that LSU plays USC the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. That'll be on August, uh, September the, the 1st. They play Nickel State the next week on the 7th. You'll play UCLA two weeks later uh, on the 21st at home. And then you'll have South Alabama the following week on September the 28th. Every single non-conference game that LSU plays will be in September next year. There's not a game in the back end that was like Georgia State or even Army this year that were kind of in the middle of the schedule. It's early um, early non-conference and then all SEC late. Also, one thing that we have to be aware of for the schedule release this year, this is one of those years where the calendar sits that between Labor Day weekend and Thanksgiving weekend, which is the bookend of the college football schedule, there's an extra week. So LSU will have two buys next week, next year. And I'm very curious tonight to see where those fall. We feel like LSU and Bama are going to be off a buy. That's always the case. Halloween weekend, mark it down. I believe LSU and Alabama will both be off. Okay? So where's the other one? And I can't, I, I, it's possible that LSU would put another buy after that in November. Like it's certainly possible you could play out, uh, you can have a bye on Halloween, then you could have Bama, then you could have a, another game, then you could have a bye, then you could have Thanksgiving. Like, that's very possible. It's also possible maybe they give themselves a bye at some point in October. Like, before Thanksgiving weekend, maybe the first weekend in October. So you play play four games, then maybe a bye, and then you play a few more, and then there's a bye, and then you, play, and you can kind of chop it up month by month. And I think that probably makes a little bit more sense than to, to put them all, both in November essentially. And then it comes down to like, what team would you want to put a buy in front of? And we know who LSU plays. They play A&M, Ole Miss, Bama, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, Florida, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. And if I'm looking at those teams, I feel like Bama number one, and then probably Ole Miss and Oklahoma, I feel like would be the next two best teams. I think a ms in a little bit of a rebuild. I think Wigman's good, but they've lost. They're, they may lose a lot. I'm not all fired up about South Carolina. I don't think they'll be great. And they got Rocket Sanders today. Vanderbilt's a joke. Florida doesn't look very good, even though they will get Graham Mertz back. Arkansas is not exactly putting the fear of God in me. And Oklahoma, that's certainly an option. And I believe that LSU and Oklahoma will be the final week of the season. We know that LSU will not finish the season with Texas A&M. We know when that game is. It's on um, October 26th. We know that LSU is not going to finish the season with Bama because we know when that game is. It's on Halloween. Uh, the It's the first weekend of November. We know that LSU does not play Ole Miss to finish the season. One, because that's going to be the Egg Bowl. And two, because they announced that game date on the Manning cast. LSU will play Ole Miss on the 12th. And that one kind of gets my ears ringing a little bit. If you think about Ole Miss on October the 12th, maybe you throw your bye week right in front of that game. And if I'm doing my math right, that would be like five games bye week, then three games bye week, then Bama. That would make sense? Put that bye in front of Ole Miss? Or if I'm right and LSU's playing Oklahoma at the end of the season – Maybe you play Bama, play one game, have a bye, play Bama, have another bye, and play Oklahoma. That doesn't seem practical to me, and I don't know that LSU plays Oklahoma the last week of the season. Maybe it's Arkansas, but I feel like LSU and Oklahoma will be the last weekend of the season. So it starts to make sense that that bye week for LSU may be early in October. That's what it, it feels like. One thing that I I do like about this schedule for LSU is I don't know what the dates are going to be, but I do know where LSU goes on the road. LSU plays A&M on the road, 
Arkansas on the road, Florida on the road, and South Carolina on the road. That's really manageable from an SEC perspective. South Carolina is not great. Arkansas is not great. A&M is in the first year of a new head coach. And Florida may be in a bad way. And those are your road games. Now, your home schedule is difficult but great for the season ticket holders. Ole Miss, Alabama, Oklahoma, plus UCLA comes in. And you got USC out in Vegas. So if you're a season ticket holder and you've been disappointed in LSU playing Wisconsin and Houston, in LSU playing North Carolina and Atlanta, LSU playing Florida State and New Orleans, you're disappointed in USC out in Vegas as opposed to coming here. This is the year you've been gearing up for because Ole Miss, Bama, Oklahoma, and UCLA is a hell of a four games. Now, you got to sit through Vanderbilt, and I think you'll be just fine. But it's a monstrous home schedule. So for me tonight, what I'm looking at is where's that second bye? Do you have maybe back-to-back road games? And then who's at the end of the season? To me, feels like you would put a bye early in October. In front of Ole Miss, I think works great since we know when that game's going to be. And then in front of Bama. And I believe, based on the fact that A&M, I think, is going to play Texas at the end. Ole Miss is going to play Mississippi State. Bama's going to play um, Auburn. South Carolina's going to play Clemson. I believe Vandy will play Tennessee. Florida's got Florida State. And then you've got your two left, Arkansas and Ole Miss, at the end. And I think that they will put Arkansas with Missouri and LSU with Oklahoma That in the finale you're going to have the Tigers and Sooners on Thanksgiving weekend, and that fires me up. And that goes back to the point that I've been making with Florida being a permanent opponent, with the Auburn game going away, with divisions going away, with you know whether or not you keep Arkansas or Alabama, Mississippi State, we hadn't played you in a long time. We played you for a million years, not playing you next year. Like You're telling me that you're not going to get jacked up if LSU has put itself in position to play meaningful football at the end of November, which they should in a 12-game playoff league, when Oklahoma comes out of that tunnel on a 52-degree night in Tiger Stadium with the lights on, you really need that to be Auburn? You need that to be Florida? I'm not telling you you're wrong. I just, man, I'm going to be jacked when the Sooners come out of there with that Sooner schooner coming out of that south end zone. That's going to be cool to me. Crimson and Cream, folks that I go back to the 2004 National Championship game. If you were in Atlanta for the semifinal, which I wasn't, that was a hell of a thing. That sounds awesome to me, and I hope that's the case tonight. We'll get all of our answers on the SEC Network coming up at 6 o'clock. But uh, I like it. Not playing Georgia, not going to Neyland Stadium. Not going to Jordan-Hare. Your road trips are Kyle Field, Williams-Brice, the Swamp, and D.W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. LSU should be in a pretty good spot next year if they can shore up this defense and if Nuss is that dude. You may find something out about that coming up in the bowl game. Hey, thanks for watching Hunt on LSU. Before you get out of here, do us a couple of favors. Hit that like button. Leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel for all your fighting Tiger football talk. See you next time.